Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? It is me, Mr. 4 k Killer. So what you're looking at here uh, currently, it's me running a Redream emulator from my Alienware, which is right over here on this side. I'm running it on my BenQ 32-inch 4K HDR 10-bit monitor. And this is Dead or Alive 2. And I'm running it really... Uh, ridiculous resolution here let me show you it is a 4k it's internal render uh, rendering 4k so I'm gonna show you uh, really quick here I'm gonna go to the input video and you will see that I'm running this at a 3840 by 2880 and it's a really uh, ridiculous it's a slightly little bit higher pixel count than 2160 so this is basically 2880 instead of 216 so it's slightly a little bit higher think of it like a 4k.2 or something like that 4k.2 or 4k.1 something like that you guys do the math and you will be surprised how well this runs on my Alienware. Obviously you are going to need a very powerful computer. Redream is great but if you want to render these games in 4K to emulate these Dreamcast games internally uh, you will need a very powerful computer. I just happen to have an Alienware over here so I'm all set. Uh, if you have Alienware Aurora and you got 1080 card built into it uh, installed, I'm sorry, into it with the uh, 4.8 6 core i7 8700 processor, 32 gigs of RAM, then you'll be able to even go further uh, with this. But let me show you just how well it runs. So let me go ahead and let me do that. Here, I paused it. I'm going to uh, adjust my uh, low light a little bit. I'm using my Elite controller. Uh, there it is. By the way, this rubber thing, it's falling apart. Uh, and uh, what's his name? Uh, Solid Rev was right, man. It's just ridiculous. It's a $150 controller, and this thing, it's uh, this rubber right here, it's falling apart. You can see it right here. Anyway, we're not here to talk about a controller. Uh, let me show you basically how it looks. I'm recording this in 1440p uh, QHD. And this is very sharp, considering that this is original Dreamcast game. Uh, it, it just, it's amazing. Here, let me show you. And it really looks sharp. Maybe I can bring my camera a little bit closer. Just look at that sharp detail. It's really, it's almost as if uh, you playing a brand new game. This is Dreamcast. You will never be able to get something like this on your Dreamcast console. But I'm able to do this with Redream. Redream, it's a... I would say one of the best emulators uh, because you have so many different options. Uh, it loads fast, it, it already has the BIOS system built into it. Uh, the only thing you have to do is pay a one-time fee, a lifetime fee of $5 and then you get to uh, enjoy uh, playing these games in native 4K. So what you're looking at here, it's really a native 4K just a little bit above native 4K, like 4.1K or 4.2K, because uh, <clears throat> we are at a higher resolution than just the native 4K, as you have seen, and, and it just looks ridiculous. Uh, my camera here, uh, GoPro Hero 6, is not doing it justice. Uh, this looks very ridiculous, and as you can see right here, there's no, uh, it's barely any input lag, it runs smooth as a butter. And for those of you who still don't believe me here, I, I, I still have to do this just to show you. Uh, there it is, uh, 3840 
by 2880 because uh, these days you know the way internet is the way YouTube is you you got to prove everything you know so I'm doing this just to prove the point that yes I am running it at 38 40 by 2880 but you are gonna need a very powerful PC as you can see I got Alienware here so I'm good to go once I get my Aurora I have my custom uh, made custom designed Aurora that's coming up and it's really a beast of a PC I'll give you guys the specs when it arrives in about three weeks uh, with that PC I'll be able to do all sorts of crazy 4k stuff on it all right so uh, let's go back here <clears throat> I mean it's look you'll just have to take my word for it I know looking through camera it's hard to see what I'm seeing and I'm not doing this video to, to show you hey look there's a holy grail I'm doing I'm doing this video to show you that in fact I have just shown to you that I am using Alienware and that I am using Redream and I am using the 3840 by 2880 resolution as you have seen okay I'm, I'm showing you some credibility so you can see that I'm not talking out of my ass and that I'm actually showing you exactly that resolution here now the problem is you can't see it through this camera but you'll have to take my word for it it is awesomely awesomely razor razor gillette sharp I like to use the term razor gillette sharp okay It just looks insane. And we don't have to do that or a lie. We can do, um, we can jump into Code Veronica, Code Veronica X, if you guys want me to. I can jump into Code Veronica X. Uh, we'll go to the games and I'll do uh, Code Veronica. And you will see the Code Veronica X will look uh, very sharp. Now, it's also very important to understand all you're doing here it's enhancing the detail of resolution you're not enhancing the graphics okay uh, that's not what this emulator is doing what this emulator is doing it's enhancing only the resolution okay the graphics are still going to be the same but they're going to be very sharp like razor Gillette sharp as you will see here in a minute I'm gonna load the game there is another emulator called Dolphin that's using both resolution and rendering from your GPU uh, that's something you can check out if you wanna play your GameCube games or your VU games at a 4k and render it like a very high uh, anisotropic filtering or texture filtering via DirectX 11 uh, you can do that Okay, let me uh, just uh, load this up. Sorry about this. Let me load the game. Here we go. Now you will see it's going to load up pretty quickly. Let me adjust my low light a little bit. And it looks very sharp. I mean, so this is really awesome that you can actually play these old games uh, in such a sharp detail here, and and I think that's that's pretty amaz uh, amazing that you can do that. I brought my camera a little bit closer just so you guys can see just how sharp it is. Uh, it's like extremely sharp, and like I said, my camera here it's not doing it justice, but. Uh, You'll just have to trust me that 3840 by 3880, uh, it's, it's extremely sharp. And everything becomes more lively. You know, even the, uh, 
dynamic light that's being presented on this game looks much better. You have to remember this is a 20 year old game, 20 years old game, and for for you to be playing it at such a high resolution, it's pretty insane. And here's a great example, like right here. Just look at that sharp detail, like right here on Resident Evil Code Veronica. Uh, again, my 1440p camera that's being recorded here, uh, it's not doing it justice. But as you have seen, it is running at 3840 by 2880. And that's the beauty of this Redream, that it's giving you the ability to do that. I mean, I can run if I want to, you know, for example, here, I'll show you, see, uh, I'm not getting any slowdown or anything like that. Let me uh, switch to another game really quick. I'm doing this all in real time. I don't want to edit anything. I just want you guys to see how it looks. Uh, let's do Shenmue really quick. Uh, it'd be a great uh, great thing right here. Let's do a Shenmue. And uh, you will see also how Shenmue looks uh, uh, very sharp and detailed here. So we're going to press the start button. We'll do a new game. Okay, so we'll do another one. Remember, uh, you do need a powerful PC to be able for you to render this type of resolution. Okay, so. And you will see right here just how, uh, how beautifully and sharp it looks. Now, I know that there is a remastered version of this game coming out soon. And of course, that's the version you want to go with. But you have to remember, I'm rendering this at a very ridiculous amount of resolution. 3840 uh, by 3880, and it really looks insane here. And this really shows you what this uh, Redream can do. And I think this is the best way for you to relive these Dreamcast games, uh, it's just going to look insane. Obviously, the remastered version will have better graphics, HDR, you know, uh, on top of that 4K resolution. So, of course, remastered version is the version you want to go with. But this is still pretty good uh, if you, you know want to do it this way you know and enjoy all of your dreamcast games i think redream it's the mecca of dreamcast games if you're somebody who loves dreamcast games and you have the nostalgia for the dreamcast games i would say redream is the one to look uh forward to and, and uh maybe i can be, bring my camera a little bit closer just to kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, it's insanely sharp. Uh, it is really sharp, guys. And like I said, my camera here, it's really not doing it justice. Let me adjust my low light. I mean, everything is clean, sharp. Uh, it looks almost as if these characters are popping out of the screen. You know, that's that's the way I'm looking at it. Uh, and what's also amazing, the fact that I'm running such a high resolution and I'm not having any issues. Like, there's no 
slowdowns like on PSCX2. Uh, so everything runs smooth here. And they're working on bringing pretty much all of the Dreamcast games. And they have a total of 80 plus percent of Dreamcast games running smoothly that are being tested and patched up. You know. So let's try another game. Let's exit this. Let's try another game really quick. Here, let's do Ready to Rumble. Ready to Rumble. Uh, and you will see just like... Uh, how beautifully this will be presented in 4K. I'm going to skip through this. Uh, like this this title screen, it's so sharp. Like you guys have no idea like how sharp this is. This is like ridiculously sharp. Okay. So I'm going to press start. By the way, I am using the uh, BenQ 4K HDR monitor. This is a 10-bit HDR 4K monitor. Uh, so just so you guys understand, uh, we'll go. There we go. We'll choose her, and let's uh, let's do this. Just look at this detail. Uh, I mean, it's just it's insane the way it looks you can see her veins and everything everything's just pops out of the screen much sharper oh so we, we're fighting each other that's cool <laughs> i mean you're gonna have a much better experience now, you don't have to connect it to a 4K monitor. You can connect it to your 4K HDR television. And then the 4K HDR television is going to look even more sharper. So, uh, like I said, this is the best way for you to uh, to experience these uh, games. These old Dreamcast games. You'll never be able to experience these old Dreamcast games on your uh, 480p you know machine okay this is above and beyond of what this console was able to achieve but now you're able to have the best possible experience of these Dreamcast games and I think that's what's so great about the uh, Redream is you're getting to enjoy all of these games in the best possible clarity Oh my god, that's it. She's done. Come on, get up. Round two. Maybe I can bring it a little bit closer so you guys can see it. Just look at that sharp detail uh, inside the game. It is just, it is just ridiculous. I mean, look at that. Look at that sharp detail. The reason you're getting this sharp detail it's because you got that 3840 by 3880 resolution. And you're going to notice this as soon as you connect this to your, like, a 4K television. You will just see, like, what a difference this makes. Just what a difference the 4K resolution makes here for Dreamcast. Even these old games, that they look great now. Considering this is a 20, 21 years old game. Okay, we're talking about a very old game. And look what the 4K resolution has done here. So, uh... That's that's pretty amazing, if you ask me. Yeah. 
So anyway, before I end this video, let me show you again that in fact I am using the uh, 3840 by 2880. So like I said, you will need a uh, very beefy PC to achieve this, but uh, this resolution is just, it brings all of your Dreamcast games to life. Like if you want to relive your Dreamcast experience again, you can do so with a very good powerful laptop or a desktop and then connect it to your 4K TV, get yourself a Redream, pay a $5 lifetime fee, uh, and you'll be able to use this resolution, uh, which is ridiculous. Okay, again, 3840 by 2880. So uh, this is native source, okay? This is not me upscaling. There is no upscale here, no upscale. This is a native source that's being rendered onto this BenQ uh, 4K monitor right here. So uh, there you go, guys. Hopefully you liked this video. And if you did, maybe you'll give me a like. I don't know. Maybe you'll give me a like. All right, guys. Have a good one, though. Take care.